they were supposed to have arrived 50,000 years ago. That's what the textbook said. That's what we believed. But a new genetic clue, buried deep beneath red desert sands, has shattered everything. In a remote corner of northern Australia, scientists uncovered a bone fragment unlike any ever studied. It was ancient. Too ancient. As the DNA unraveled under the microscope, it told a story no one was prepared to hear. A timeline broken. A history rewritten. The first Australians didn't arrive 50,000 years ago. They were here much earlier. Thousands of years earlier. When mammoths still walked in the north. When Neanderthals were still alive. This wasn't just a migration. It was a mystery buried in time waiting to be exposed. Who were they? How did they survive? And what does this mean for everything we thought we knew about human evolution? One fragment, one test, and a shocking truth that changes our understanding of human history forever. What did ancient DNA really reveal about the first Australians? And why was this hidden for so long? For decades, archaeologists agreed, Humans first arrived in Australia around 50,000 years ago, crossing over from Southeast Asia during a glacial period when sea levels were lower. They traveled in small boats, following island chains across what is now Indonesia, finally stepping onto the vast, untouched continent of Sahul, an ancient landmass that once connected Australia, New Guinea, and Tasmania. But here's the twist early rock art charred campfire remains, and stone tools scattered across the continent suggested something older. Much older. Still, without DNA, it was speculation. Until now. The continent's isolation made it a genetic time capsule, preserving secrets no one expected. These people weren't just early migrants. They may have been among the first modern humans to leave Africa. Arriving in Australia tens of thousands of years before Europe was settled. If this is true, it means the very map of human migration must be redrawn. What ancient journey brought them here? And how did science miss it for so long? Could Australia have been humanity's first great leap? Rather than the last? It began with a single bone, weathered, brittle, and nearly lost to time. Found near the banks of the Drysdale River in Western Australia, it was barely more than a fragment, part of a human femur, fossilized and buried beneath meters of ochre-colored sediment. The site was remote, scorched by sun and wind, forgotten by most. But to one team of researchers, it held a promise. They carefully extracted the sample, not expecting much. After all, DNA degrades fast in hot climates. But when the fragment was tested in a high-security lab in Canberra, something extraordinary happened. Not only was ancient DNA preserved, it was complete enough to map. And that genome told a story no one anticipated. The remains didn't date back 50,000 years. Carbon residue and stratigraphic analysis placed it at 65,000 years, possibly even earlier. This was no anomaly. The find sparked whispers in the scientific community. Could this be the oldest DNA ever recovered from a Homo sapiens outside Africa? The implications were staggering. If this tiny fragment was real, what else could be waiting beneath Australia's ancient soils? The race was on. A coalition of archaeologists, geneticists, and paleoanthropologists joined forces, led by Professor Lena Mathers, from the Australian Centre for Ancient DNA. Their mission, to verify what seemed impossible. Extracting viable DNA from remains exposed to over 60,000 years of heat and humidity was a scientific long shot. Samples were rushed to ultra-clean laboratories, rooms pressurized and sterilized to prevent contamination. Every molecule was treated like gold. Using next-generation sequencing and mitochondrial DNA comparison, researchers began to piece together an ancestral puzzle. 
but skepticism mounted. Peer-reviewed journals demanded more evidence. Critics claimed the dating was flawed, the context too uncertain. To settle the debate, the team turned to optically stimulated luminescence, a technique that measures the last time sediment was exposed to sunlight. The results were shocking. The burial site predated all known human settlements in Europe and Asia. Even more baffling, linguistic patterns among modern Aboriginal groups hinted at lineages far deeper than previously believed. Something extraordinary was taking shape. But would the genetic proof hold up to scrutiny or collapse under the weight of its own implications? The genome analysis was completed in silence. Scientists stared at their screens, knowing they were witnessing something that would rewrite textbooks. The DNA from the femur fragment was not only intact, it contained haplogroups previously undocumented in any other ancient population. These were not Eurasian lineages. They were distinct, isolated, ancient. Through advanced comparative genomics, the team traced the maternal line back nearly 70,000 years placing this individual among the first wave of Homo sapiens to leave Africa. More stunningly, the divergence point suggested that Aboriginal Australians split from other modern human populations before the ancestors of Europeans or Asians had even begun their migrations. This wasn't just early migration. It was the earliest. The evidence was overwhelming. Radiocarbon data matched. Luminescence dating aligned and the DNA was bulletproof. Published in Nature and confirmed by labs in Germany and Japan, the findings ignited a scientific firestorm. Could it be that the first modern humans to conquer a new continent were not European, but Australian? Picture this, a dark sea under a blood-red sky, 70,000 years ago. A raft made of lashed bamboo drifts silently across unknown waters. Aboard, a small group of humans, huddled, alert, ancestral, guided only by stars and instinct. They are not wanderers, they are pioneers. From the jungles of Southeast Asia, they have followed a disappearing land bridge, fleeing rising waters, pursuing food, shelter, or something greater. And then, land, a coastline like no other, towering cliffs singing deserts, creatures they've never seen, giant wombats, thunderbirds, and megafauna twice the size of men. They do not just survive here, they thrive. Within centuries, they spread across the continent, shaping it with fire, song, and story. They map the stars, they paint in caves, and all the while their genes, their story, are etched into the land. Long before Stonehenge, long before the pyramids, this was humanity's first great migration, carved not in stone, but in blood and time. And all of it was nearly erased until one ancient bone revealed the truth. The revelation sent shockwaves through the scientific world, not just because of its age, but because of what it meant. The first Australians weren't latecomers to the human story. They were its earliest navigators, its first ocean crossers, its boldest explorers. For tens of thousands of years, their cultures thrived in isolation, preserving knowledge systems and oral histories that may be among the oldest continuous traditions on Earth. And yet, their place in history was buried by erosion, by time and by centuries of colonial silence. Until now, thanks to a single strand of ancient DNA, we're forced to rethink everything, not just where we came from, but how far we've truly traveled. The deserts of Australia no longer whisper. They roar with stories long ignored. This isn't just a chapter of prehistory. It's a new beginning for the human timeline. If you were captivated by this revelation, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more discoveries that challenge what we think we know. Because the past is far stranger and deeper 
than we ever imagined.